Hey everybody, I have a really easy project for you today. Uh, you're just going to take a stone and give it a nice, easy, even coat of, I used black. I'll use whatever color you'd like. And then with a chalk pencil, I'm just drawing a couple of guidelines. You're not going to see them, we're going to paint over them. And what we're going to do is we're going to make like a stained glass on the, um, on the stone. Now, when I begin here, I'm using a wider brush and I don't, I didn't want that wide look. If you want the wide look, then, you know, use the wider brush. I'm going to switch over shortly to one of the thinner, thinner brushes because I wanted to have a little bit more control. I have the thin brush now. So you're going to go back and forth. I'm, I'm going to do all of the gold and it's going to be uneven and pretty messy. Once that gold is dry and I'm going to come back with black and I'm going to adjust my my lines and my designs until I'm happy with them um, and then once I'm done with the black I have to go back to the gold so it's a lot of back and forth until you're satisfied I wanted the wavy bottom there it was much easier than just trying to draw a straight line and paint a straight line so I did a little scallopy kind of edge once you are happy just let it dry and then we're going to start doing the um, the painting. Now I used a lot of different colors. I had, oh gosh, several. <laughs> and I put down the bottom of each slide the color that I was using in the company that it was from. Like that was a folk art blue cascade. And I did, a couple of them I did like two or three spots of the same color like I would do the yellow and then I came back a little later and I did another yellow after you see the yellow on one top there and then the yellow down the bottom and I did that with all of the colors but I did use a lot of colors so actually let me read them off to you I wrote them down I have blue cascade mandarin orange berry lemon silk blue topaz fire opal uh, peridot antique copper plum ice blue Royal Ruby, Silvery Green, Rose Shimmer, Christmas Green, Magenta Metallic, Green Flash, Aqua Flash, and Purple Flash. The last three are the Folk Art Color Shift paints, and um, some of them don't look so pretty in the bottle, but once they're on, they're really, really beautiful. Especially my favorite is probably the, um, the Aqua Flash. It has like a bluish greeny, turquoisey kind of look. In the bottle but when it's on it's just it's really pretty so once you've gone through and you've done all around with the first tool get a smaller tool something thinner and go back and just fill it in you can go over each dot you know it doesn't matter you don't the only thing you don't want to do is you don't want to go on top of the gold you don't want to cover up your lines you want to leave those nice and crisp and clean so just keep going fill it in and you could even like do multiple colors in one, you know, or two or all of the squares if, you, if you'd like. They're not square, are they? They're all different sizes and shapes, but you know what I mean. So once you have that done, you're going to, you know, make sure that it's dry. And you're going to do a couple of coats of a sealer in a couple of minutes. I'm going to just let this finish up. Uh, the painting. This is more, some more blue cascade. And here's the uh, the color ship. This is the green flash, and um, it's so it's so pretty. This is the aqua flash. I don't really like the color there, but when I have it on a piece and it's dried, it's beautiful. And I don't think I have the purple flash that I put on, but anyway, here's the um, the piece, and I just. Put it aside let it dry sorry about the noise in the background my heater just went on i'm down in the basement and it's pretty chilly so um yeah sorry um anyway before i go ahead and seal and uh th th this piece i'm going to take care of this some of the paint you can see i'm rubbing it there is a little bit thick and it's left peaks and they're a little sharp and um I'm gonna roll them down. I have an acrylic rod and I'm just going over them, finding which ones are sticking up a little bit and um, rolling them down. Now the paint is dry, but since this, you know, 
coats of it and I'll it's um, still a little bit pliable underneath so I can do that um, just go around and find what needs needs flattening out and uh, flatten it out give it a little smush okay so I think it looks pretty good and one more thing I'm going to do before um, actually, I think it's two things I'm going to do before I go ahead and seal it is I'm going to go back with my gold fine liner brush and the gold and I'm going to fix up some of those um, lines that have either, you know, aren't fully covered or um, just need a little bit straightening out. Then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Q-tip and I like to burnish down my, my uh, gold lines because you're constantly going back and forth over the center like that. It, it gets kind of built up and uh, it's just kind of messy looking. I don't know. I don't like to see the, the brush uh, strokes on something like that. So I go with the Q-tip and um, sometimes I just use my fingers, make sure everything's dry and just give it a good rub and follow along and it's not going to take away all of the little lines and it's not going to take away all of the little bumps but it is going to help make them a little less attractive um, not attractive because they're not attractive but <laughs> noticeable I guess is the word I'm looking for so um, now I'm going to go back with the black and I'm going to smooth out the lines below and fill in anything that had been missing um, the, the stone was a little bit unfinished on the bottom so I'm just filling that in and now I'm coming back again with the gold and filling in a few more lines um, yeah it wasn't too bad but just check them out see what you what you want to fix what, what needs fixing you might have gone over with a little a dot here or there and again you want to keep your lines crisp and pretty so anything that needs fixing or straightening um, take care of it now so I think that looks pretty good. I like, I love all the different colors. You can see some of them actually have a couple of uh, shades of green right there. There's like a green and a yellow. But I'm going to do a coat of the full spectrum uh, dragonfly glaze. I'm doing a terrible job of showing you the picture there. Um, but it's the full spectrum. It goes from like gold to red to purple and you can see there's some green in there and all it's just really pretty um, and that's just what I want I want something to just highlight the um, the different colors we have so here we are it's uh, dried the shimmer and shine on there is just 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 enough it's just just enough to highlight the colors and um, I think it looks great so it's a nice easy project um, just takes a little time getting those uh, lines painted but otherwise I hope you like this and if you did please give me a thumbs up I would really appreciate it if you'd also subscribe to my channel so I know that you love what I'm doing and I can continue to bring more thanks so much bye